If one talks about the gems that YG Entertainment has, it would be a huge mistake to miss out on Lee Hi. The female idol signed with the company after winning the second prize in K-Pop Star Season 1. After seven years of working under YG, in 2019, she decided not to renew the contract with YG. Following her departure, she has recently revealed the reasons behind the late comebacks of YG's artists. Recently, on July 23rd, Lehigh has made her first comeback after leaving YG Entertainment. To promote her soothing ballad, Holo, Lehigh has joined an interview on One The K Originals. Here, she has introduced her new representative agency and her new single. In the section where she would react to fans' comments, there was one comment saying that she was the most unfairly treated artist in YG. Upon such a comment, she burst into laughter and replied in defense of her former company. Lehigh said that she really enjoyed her time at YG Entertainment and there was a reason for her comeback delaying. According to Lehigh, whenever an artist came back, a lot of effort and investment would be poured into them. Besides such great care, the artist would receive many vital projects to push their reputation. Since she was treated the same way, people should neither pity her nor criticize her CEO like that. She also explained that because YG had a habit of prioritizing quality over quantity, CEO Yang Hon Suk only allowed five artists to come back each year. Typically, it would take the company around two months of preparation to turn the ideas into action. Considering such careful preparation and a huge number of artists, it was quite reasonable for YG artists to have such a long comeback interval. Under YG Entertainment, Lee Hai has always had the best composers in Korea to work for her music, so people should stop being so harsh on her former CEO. After giving some comments on her previous management company, she continued the conversation by talking about her present agency. Lee Hai revealed that when her contract with YG Entertainment ended, DJ Pumpkin, co-CEO of AOMG, was the first to call her. To not lose such a gem to others' hands, the DJ had continuously persuaded Lee Hai to join his company. Though Lee Hai was first hesitant as she also received invitations from many companies, she eventually agreed to join AOMG. When being asked about the reasons Lee Hai chose AOMG, she replied that since the company truly needed her talents, she believed both parties could help each other develop in the future. AOMG is an entertainment company founded by Jay Park and DJ Pumpkin. The company's name was the abbreviation of Above Ordinary Music Group, implying its ambition to produce the most unique songs in the market. Besides Lee Hai, AOMG also has lots of talented faces, Loco, Gray, and Simon. This also grants Lee Hai an advantage to work with her seniors in future projects. Ending the interview, Lee Hai said that she was confident of herself. Regardless of which company she was under, she would always do her best to succeed. Also, since she knew how to take care of herself so her fans shouldn't be too worried about her. Do you find this news surprising? Would you still be mad at YG after learning about its priority of quality over quantity? Comment below to share your opinions with us!